It's been a little bit since I made a video, but tonight I wanted to talk about my uh, Plasticville 5 and 10 uh, store. Um, I actually just bought this off of eBay. It came um, completely unassembled, uh, not glued together at all. And I decided to go through and make some uh, pr like improvements to it, and then also to, to glue it together. Um, first off, one of the things you might notice it is missing one of the inserts. I'm going to have to go out and uh, either print one off and make a reproduction or just simply uh, try to find one online. But So that's a, a, one more thing I need to do to it. The other thing I did is I took um, wax paper and I, I plan on lighting up all the buildings and I went through and I basically took all of the uh, windows little window openings all the way around it and took wax paper to them and just kind of glued them in place before assembling the entire building and so my, my thought is that at least it'll allow light to go through and since I'm going to be putting one of the, the Miller signs on top of this uh, uh, unit I thought that maybe it would be for the best that you couldn't see through and see the, the wires and other stuff inside as well I'm also thinking about taking and cutting small bits of uh, cardboard and maybe trying to, to fit that um, against the actual surfaces except for around the windows with the idea that when we put a light on here we'd have light go through and not and through the windows and not through the walls a lot of times you'll see these things lit up and the entire plastic uh, piece all the walls are just lit up glowing one other thing I did I wanted to kind of show that there might be glass or at least kind of a, a nicer surface to these uh, inserts that came with it and so I took um, packing tape, clear tape, and basically kind of laminated the, the pieces. They were already in not the best of shape so I'm not really worried about it devaluing anything and, and by all means this, this particular set even though it came unglued the um, underneath side already had remnants of what looked like it had been glued together. My next step is to, ins in to uh, insert a sign onto the roof of this 5 and 10. And in one of my past videos, I had went ahead and assembled the, the Zippo light. And I had thought about putting this at first on top of a gas station. And since really, ga you know, smoking around gas stations is kind of a no-no, I, I don't know, I just kind of thought that it would be uh, the wrong place to put it. So. What I'm going to do today is also show you how to um, put one of these pieces on the roof of a, a Plasticville uh, building. To do this, I'm going to be using um, this hot knife, and I've shown this before in one of my other videos, but it is just kind of a, a tool, heats up this, this blade, and I'm able to kind of go through the plastic with it with, without uh, really any problems. This blade, the thickness of it, is just about the same size as the Miller um, tab here that's got to go through. So we're going to go ahead and let this thing heat up and I'll be right back. So I went ahead and marked it. It's right about here. And I'm just going to go ahead and press the trigger on the hot knife and it will produce some uh, smoke so you want to have this in a well ventilated area and I'm just going to go straight on down and try to make this a little closer maybe turn it around so you can see it again going to go right here and here we go Now I'll probably go back through and kind of shave this off a little bit or try to, while it's still kind of, I don't know, it's pretty hard already. But we'll go ahead and try to uh, cut that away just a little bit more. And I just want to double check that the hole is big enough for the tab, which it needs to be just a little bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and, and do that and then uh, come back. Alright, so I made the hole a little bit wider and 
uh, tried to smooth it down just a little bit. I may have to go back and sand it down, but this thing uh, now is big enough to have the Miller sign sit right inside it. And I'm going to go ahead and hook it up and let you see the finished product. And here's a couple of little puck lights I put inside, not the lighting I'm going to go with, but it definitely uh, adds a little bit more to it. And I've got the sign on top working, get the lights off so you can see what that looks like. As you can see, you know, without using the little like cardboard inserts or something around the inside, you definitely can see through the plastic. And so that's one of the, the things I want to try to take care of in the future. Anyway, I thought I'd uh, let you see this little install job on this. And uh, if you did like the video, please hit like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.